in this video what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to attach an additional volume to a windows ec2 machine i already have one of the machine created that is in mumbai region now if you are not sure how to create a machine in the aws for windows then what i am going to do is i am going to paste the link in the description you can go to that link and you will have idea like how to create a machine in the aws console for windows now let's suppose you have created a machine now the task is to attach additional volume so how we can do that for that we need couple of thing the first thing which we need we need to know like uh, let's suppose my machine is running in mumbai location and it is running in ap south 1b availability zone so the volume which i'm going to create i'm going to create in the same availability zone if i'm going to create a volume in a different availability zone i will not get a option to connect that volume to this instance now let me show this thing with demo so that you can understand it better but before that let me log into this machine now how to log into this machine it's simple we need to select the machine we need to click on connect we need to go to the rdp and after that we need to click on download remote desktop and there is a password option we need to click on get password and we need to browse for the file uh, here it is here is my key pair file let me scroll down a bit click on decrypt password and here i have the password let me copy this password let me cancel this thing and now what i need to do is i need to go to my download folder and from there i need to log into my machine let me double click this thing continue Now it is going to take some time because windows at the time of booting up it uh, takes some time because it has to load some of the information okay. now here i logged into the windows machine let me expand a bit so that we can work with it let me go to the volume option so here i am if i click on my pc and uh, this pc then i can see there is one volume that is with 30 gb attached to this machine here it is now let me minimize this thing let me select my machine and what i need to do is i need to go to the storage option once i am in the storage option i can see that device connected now here we need to connect one more device so the first thing which we need that is the availability zone we know that is in ap south 1b now what we need to do is we need to go to these options and we need to scroll down and we need to go to the option that is volume so here it is ebs elastic block storage volume now here we already have one of the volume created that is attached with windows machine and i if i need more information i can just scroll right a bit and i can see the attach instance so here i can see this is the attach instance and this is in ap south 1b availability zone okay now my task is to i'm so sorry for that now let me go to the volume again now i need to click on create volume here it is telling me i need to select the volume type like the general purpose provisioned iops cold throughput or magnetic so i will go with the default option and here i am going to reduce the size to 10 gb now the next thing i need to change the availability zone to 1b again if i am going to select a different availability zone i will not get the option to connect this volume to my windows machine snapshot i can create a snapshot from here i can encrypt my volume we are not going to do it in this video i'm going to create a separate video for that so let me click on create volume now we have this volume created if i need to give a name i can give name additional volume windows. okay now i need to connect this thing so how i can connect this thing to my windows machine so i need to select from here go to the action and here we need to click on the attach volume 
as of now i am not getting that option so it might be my volume is still in the process of creating so we can see it from here let me refresh this thing now i can see this one is available let me select the volume one more time go to the action attach volume now i am in availability zone 1b here i will get my instance that is the windows we don't have to change this format whatever the default format we will get we will go with that we are not going to change that thing okay now let me click on the attach volume now to verify we just need to scroll the it a bit and verify that thing yes it is showing me in use and it is attached to this machine great now i need to go to my machine so let me go to my machine and here is my machine now if i'm going to refresh here i'm not going to see the volume so in windows we need to add that volume and how we can add that volume for that we need to go to the computer management option now how we can go to the computer management we can go to the start and from here we can click on the server manager i'm going with the long path that's okay if you have a shortcut that is a command which you need to use you can also use that so here we need to click on the man uh, tools and computer management now once we are in the computer management let me minimize this thing here we have the option for the disk management now here it is showing me this volume 10 gb but it is showing offline and it is also telling me this is unallocated right now that's okay what i need to do is first i need to bring this online so it is online now but it is not initiated so the next thing which i need to do is i need to initialize this one now i have an option for the master boot record or gpt i'm not going into detail what exactly these options are but if you want you can read more about these options now let me click now still it is showing me unallocated here i can see online but here it is showing me unallocated so what i need to do is i need to right click click on the new simple volume next 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 and finish now here i can see new volume let me go here yes i can see my volume here so this is how we can attach a volume now let's suppose my task is to increase the size of this volume c drive or d drive so how we can do that for that we need to go back to the aws console so here i am in the aws console let me go to the instance Now here I am in my instance, let me select and let me go to the storage option. Now here in the storage option I can see two volumes are attached. One is for 30 GB and the other one is for the 10 GB. Now let's suppose my task is to increase the size of this 30 GB. So how I can do that? First we need to grab the volume ID. So let me copy this volume ID and I need to go to the volume option. I can also click over there. If I am going to click, it is going to redirect me to this page, to the same page. Now, in the volume, what I need to do is I need to select this volume and click on modify volume. Let me go to the volume one more time. Here it is. And let me select. This is for 30 GB. We can also search that thing. Let me search. Here it is. Let me select this thing. Action modify volume now here i can increase the size now let's suppose i'm going to increase a 1 gb for this modify modify we are done now let me refresh 31 gb it is showing from here now here i am in my windows machine so again i need to go to the computer management so how we can go to the computer management again we can go to the server manager and then we can select the computer management now here we need to do a refresh once we are going to do a refresh i will see 1 gb unallocated here now what i need to do is i need to click here and click on the extend volume one thing don't click here otherwise you will not get the option to extend this one what you need to do is you need to click on this extend volume there is also one option for shrink don't go with that option that is not going to work so extend volume next 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 we are done 
now to verify yes we can see it is still showing okay let me go back 30.9 so that means 31 GB it is showing so this is how we can create a volume attach a volume modify a volume we can also take a backup of the volume but that is something I'm going to cover in the next video that is something we need to take a snapshot if you like this video do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon thank you